Hi, my name is Summer Faith and I am a stay-at-home mom. I have two wonderful boys, a lovely husband, and one of my greatest passions is to see women grow into who Christ has called them to be. I love to do this through focusing our eyes on Jesus and also helping them in their fitness goals um, through health and nutrition. And I do that on online private accountability groups, which I absolutely love. But today I wanted to start something called Worship Wednesday. And I love to worship. I'm a singer-songwriter. I lead worship at our local church. And um, one thing that I really enjoy doing is just spending time in worship. Uh, it writes my heart. It centers me. It helps me to get my eyes off of the immediate and to keep my focus on Him and what He's done. I was thinking of Psalm 103 today. Uh, Bless the Lord, O my soul, I think it's verse 2, and forget not His benefits. Forget not what God has done for us. And I have been challenged this week to look back at some of the things that I have been through, um, especially a season of fear that I had to live through. It was really difficult for me, and um, God has been asking me to go back to that season and remember his benefits and how he has delivered me through that season, the things that he spoke over me in those trying times, the verses that he um, illuminated in scripture. And it's just sometimes it's difficult to go back and to remember those things, those difficult times in our lives. But I think it's so important that we spend time remembering and praising God for what he has done in our life. Uh, Peter tells us in Acts that God is no respecter of persons and everything that he has available to you is available to everyone else. So your testimony and the things that you have been through in life and, and the way that God has blessed you and taught you and grown you, those things are not just for your benefit, they're for others benefit as well. So when you find yourself in that tough season and it's hard it's hard to know when you are in that season um, that he is growing you and he is developing you for something in the future where um, and I'll find the verse and I'll put it, put it below but it's the God of all comfort he comforts us in our weaknesses and in those seasons so that we can comfort others I believe it's in first Corinthians but um, really truly I've had those moments in life where God speaks over me and he gives me scripture and in the future I ended up using those those verses and those moments to share with other women and bless them and and let them know that God is faithful and if he has done it for me he can do it for you and so there's hope in your testimony so this worship Wednesday I would love to challenge you to worship the Lord and and go back to those seasons where you um, were feeling not hopeful you you didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you you didn't know how you were going to make it through but god has delivered you and i would love it if you could post something below that that the lord has done for you um i'll go on on psalm 103 it says that he forgives all of our iniquity he heals all of our diseases and he's redeemed our life from the pit and he crowns us with steadfast love and mercy so today, as you were crowned in steadfast love and mercy, I just pray that you would share with us just a little glimpse of something that you were remembering today, that you were worshiping God for and thanking Him for in your life. Because if it has blessed you, I promise you that it will bless someone else and give them hope for their future. Because we know that God has plans for us, right? Jeremiah 29, 11. And, and He does. He, he truly does. And what we have gone through and what we're experiencing is not just for us it's to help and to bless others as well so I'd love to share more of my testimony sometime um, I do have an online group coming up it's a 28 day accountability group and in it I you know get a little bit deeper into my story and and I have uh, connect women with tools to help them be successful in their health walk. If you're interested in that at all, you can email me at summerfaith 
glory to glory at gmail.com and I would love to tell you more about that. But my takeaway for you today is to go back and remember a season where he has been faithful in your life. He's proven himself faithful and let's testify to that today. Let's glorify his name and thank him for all that he's done because he is so worthy of our praises. So I pray that today we would give him the praise he's due. Blessings to you all. Thank you for watching.